So I guess my question to you is just how do they get away with it? I, I don't understand. I really don't understand. Welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. I'm really thankful and excited that you're here with me today. I have been meaning to review this um, brand for a long time. Um, I just always have a long list of things that I want to try out, different products I want to try out. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, this is Self Care Karen. It's all about my self care journey. On Fridays, I upload videos relating to my beauty product addiction, which really helped me. That addiction helps me with my self care. That's where the link is or one of them anyway. Um, and then on a Monday, I do a more kind of holistic self-care topic. So at the moment, I'm focusing on emotional freedom technique or EFT tapping. Um, but I have got a whole range of guided meditations as well. Okay, so lovely to have you here. Um, okay, so today I'm going to be talking about Aldi's uh, skincare brand called La Cura or La Cura, depending on how you pronounce it in Spanish. La Cura, it's two words the cure so the cure i think they they might be playing on that anyway i bought a kind of um skincare routine out of uh the range i bought it online because the aldi's round here are very small they don't really carry much of the skincare and actually some of the things i wanted to try out weren't even in stock so i'm not quite sure how they work in aldi but I am just absolutely so excited to share um, my kind of mini experiment with you. Just to say also that this video will be uploaded and go live right on or really near to the two year anniversary of Self Care Karen. And um, yeah, so it will go up in November. I'm in short sleeves. It's, it's October. Um, it's the, I think I'm filming, what is it? It's 11th of October that I'm filming today. So this video will go up in about five weeks time. Um, and you know, this journey that I've been on with self-care Karen over the last two years has just been amazing. I am so appreciative and thankful for it thankful for it. I'm thankful for all of my viewers, my subscribers, all the people that have uh, looked at my Etsy shop and bought from it, who've engaged in some way with me, who've joined my mailing list. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I love this. For me, doing this is just so high vibe. Even when I have to create like a million Instagram posts and things like that, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you uh, to all of you for really making my dream come true. Okay, so let me go through the products that I um, have purchased. And yeah, I'm just going to talk to you about the dupe that I, I think that they're linked to. And online, there are various uh, articles that I've seen um, about and videos and what have you about um, Aldi uh, dupe, making dupes or duplicates of known brands. Um, to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure how they get away with it because um, surely copyright laws, I mean, maybe that's why some of the products I wanted to try out weren't there anymore because they're being sued by the uh, legitimate uh, producer of the product. But anyway, let me talk you through my findings. Um, I think um, you will find them interesting. So if you know anything about me, and um, the light is beautiful, but apologies if you can get shadows and darks here. It's, very hard to find somewhere, uh, a, a good vantage point at the moment with the sun, but it's beautiful streaming in. Um, if you know anything about me, you know that I, my kind of my favourite beauty product or skincare product is cleansers or are cleansers. So I bought three <laughs> cleansers, two of them very similar. Um, so let's start there. So I bought two hot cloth cleansers from La Cura. One's a vitamin C one and one is a pineapple one. And um, each of these were, actually, I got them in a pack together. Let me tell you how much they cost. I've got my list here. Um, £7.98 for the both of them, which is very, very good value. They're vegan friendly. One's got vitamin E, cocoa butter, vitamin E and, sorry, vitamin C, cocoa butter, vitamin E and thyme oil. And the other one is with pineapple extract, cocoa butter and aloe vera. Of the two... 
They're very similar. I did just prefer, from a smell factor, the pineapple one. Um, and I guess these are a dupe, although in the packaging it's not so clear, but I think they're a dupe for Lizelle, the um, trademarked cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser, which a 200, uh, yeah, 200 milliliter, sorry, I haven't got my um, glasses on and, you know, I'm getting old. Anyway, one tube, 200 milliliters, so the same size as this, retails for £32.50 on Boots. So a massive price difference. I have reviewed Liz Earl. I will link that review video here. I've reviewed their skincare. I'm not a big fan of the hot cloth cleanser. I think, um, I've said in the past that I've preferred the Superdrug Naturally Brilliant one. I have to say, though, that the Aldi ones stack up. So, you know, if you're looking for a hot cloth, hot cloth cleanser to try, I would either do the Superdrug one or go ahead and do the Aldi one, La Cura one. They're fantastic. They're not meant to really remove makeup, although I think they probably claim that they do. Um, it's better as if you've got a lot of makeup on, I generally use an oil or a balm first and then go in with the hot cloth cleanser. But in terms of cleaning your skin, um, getting rid of, uh, you know, impurities, built up dead skin cells and all of that malarkey, they're great because you, you apply them to dry skin and then you remove them using the muslin cloth. And these came with a free muslin cloth, one each, you know, so I got two, two there. Uh, lovely cloth I wouldn't you know why spend the the money you know I, I don't know why you would on Lizelle to be honest with you sorry Lizelle if you weren't thinking of sponsoring a video um, I guess that that will uh, not happen now anyway okay the third cleanser that I bought was this one um, called the jelly cleanser again when I bought it I wasn't quite sure what the duplicate for it was um, this is with marula oil, glycerin and watermelon extract. This is though um, a dupe and if you look at the packaging, oh and by the way um, my lovely video editor is going to be adding in the photo so you can see the kind of dupes but um, this is a dupe for the drunk elephant best number nine jelly cleanser which 150 ml which is what this is retails at 27 pounds at Boots and this retailed at $3.99 at Aldi. So massive price difference again. That said, not a big fan here and I haven't tried the Drunk Elephant one so I can't really compare like for like but basically um, I had this in the shower. I like glycerin in a, in a skincare product. I was excited for that but I didn't feel like it had a lot of glycerin in it. This is okay as a facial wash but nothing to write home about. So, you know, I wouldn't recommend this. I don't know if you, if you've tried the Drunk Elephant one, let me know in the, in the comments. It'd be interesting to know your thoughts. Okay, I bought two um, toners, which, um, yeah, I, I guess I would refer to them as acids, um, but they they're calling them toners so these are the two that i got and these are i mean i really 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 don't know how they get away with it i mean the packaging the colors everything the names um these are dupes for pixie um so the first one is the pixie glow tonic which is a cult beauty product and that retails for 18 pounds for 250 milliliters is this 250 yes it is um and that's got five percent glycolic in it this also has got 5% glycolic in it and it retailed for £2.99. I have used the Pixie Glow Tonic um, once upon a time, a long time ago. I don't remember being blown away by it. I actually prefer the ordinary glycolic acid. Um, and to be honest with you, I wasn't blown away with this either, but it's fine, particularly considering the price point. So this I use this after cleansing. I just wipe it on. This is for the morning. I use this each day in the morning. I just wipe it on my face using a reusable cotton pad and it um, just kind of keeps the dead skin scales dead skin cells at bay. So yeah, uh, nice. I think if you have um, 
you know more kind of prominent blemishes and I do get occasional spots now and then and again some it's hormonal sometimes it's due to the skincare I'm using but um this kind of keeps on top of that but not I wouldn't say if you have like more regular blemishes this is probably not going to be big enough or strong enough to deal with that you probably want a different product the uh one that I used on the evening, the retinol toner, I mean, it's so funny, the packaging is same colour as Pixi Glow. Pixi, sorry, or Pixi Retinol Tonic, again, £18 for 250 millilitres. And that, that one is retinol and jasmine flower. This is retinol and jasmine flower. I mean, seriously, guys, how do they get away with it? The Audi one retail for two ninety nine. I mean, it's just in... Yeah, two ninety nine. I bought two by mistake. I gave one to my sister in law. She was so so happy because she was just looking for something this kind of a product. Really like using this on an evening. I'm not sure that the retinol really is strong enough to. I mean, it's not high up in the list of ingredients to really make a difference from an age uh, fighting or you know turn back time kind of a perspective. But I liked having this routine of having this applying this before I applied my my night moisturizer okay I bought a day cream this is probably like the biggest saving and it's probably one of the biggest rave products that I saw online for Aldi and this is the La Cura Caviar Illumination sorry a day cream sorry about the sun there this has got an SPF of 15 on it. Okay, so this is a dupe for La Prairie Skin Caviar Looks Cream. This was $6.99, okay? Guess how much La Prairie retails for? I mean, I'm sure you can get offers, maybe. £439. I mean, seriously, I don't have the size there, but who cares? I mean, that, I mean no, no comparison on price. This... My only gripe with this is that it is SPF 15. If this was SPF 30, I would be much happier. Oh, sorry, I tell a lie. I have another gripe, the smell. Not a big fan. It's kind of, feel, smells kind of, I want to say like weeds, not weed, weeds, um, you know, multiple that you get in the garden. I don't know. There's kind of a kind of grassy, weedy smell that I'm not a fan of, but I, for this price point, I don't care. This goes on really, really well. It doesn't pill on top of the um, toner. It, it um, moisturises. It does feel um, quite, it feels kind of a little bit tightening. Um, and I've used it under foundation, no problem. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, this is not my favourite day cream, but it, this is really, really, really good cream for the price point and certainly... I mean, I'd love to try it. If anyone wants to give me La Prairie so I can do a real comparison, feel free, feel free. Okay, I didn't find a night cream that um, kind of sang to me. So I decided to opt for an oil. And I've never really done this before, um, but I got this one, La Cura Healthy Glow Rose Oil. And at the time, I wasn't sure what it was um, a dupe for, but then I did a bit of research and it is a dupe for Pixie Rose Oil Blend. This was 3 dollars and it's 50, no, 25 millilitres. For a little bit more, 30 millilitres, the Pixie Rose Oil Blend is £26. Okay, I know which one I'm going to be buying. This was lovely. It smells really nice. It comes with like a pipette, um, as does the Pixie Glow one, I'm sure. Or Pixie Rose, I keep on calling it Pixie Rose, sorry. This just goes on. It's very nourishing. It smells of rose. I like the smell of rose. Some people don't, so, you know, be mindful of that. Rose is very, very good for the skin. It's a really good skincare product. It's good at, um, you know, hydrating it and calming it down. I really like this. So basically, you know, you've seen my skincare routine there. And on an evening, I was using the hot cloth cleanser. Then I was using the retinol toner. And then I was putting on the oil. And that has worked really, really well. Now, I, I just want to caveat here that uh, I've been using this during the summer months. And um, I think for a win for the winter, I would want a bit more hydration happening in my routine. Um, 
Uh, last product that I wanted to talk to you about, and this is definitely another dupe, and I have tried the dupe. This is the Lacura Purif Detoxifying Brightening Purifying, it does everything, Pink Clay Mask. Okay, and this is a dupe for the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Fining Face Mask. I bought this one. This is six. 60 grams i bought the 60 grams for 5.99 and it comes with a little brush which i really appreciate because the body shop retails their face mask brushes for like eight quid or something and this came free in inverted commas right um anyway this uh the dupe so the sand and sky one which i tried a, a smaller version of from an advent i think it was from an mns advent a while back that retails 30 millilitres, retails for £22.90. And I remember at the time I liked the mask, but I wasn't like raving about it. And um, I really did like this mask. I don't rave about it, but there's nothing wrong with it. And I think I've got a photo. If I have, I'll, I'll insert it. Well, my lovely video editor will insert it with me wearing the face mask. But um, yeah, I mean, I like the fact that when when you remove it it's oh, sorry the sun is again maybe that's a bit better when you remove it the um your skin doesn't feel exceptionally tight but i didn't feel like it was very detoxifying nor i mean yeah i mean i it's very difficult to tell isn't it with a face mask but I prefer, when I go in with a face mask, I actually do prefer using one that's going to nourish rather than uh, purify. But, you know, for what it's uh, billed as, I'm very impressed, especially, again, once again, I keep on repeating myself, but for the price point. So overall, I am really impressed. Sorry, here we go again. <laughs> I'm really, really impressed with La Cura Skincare. And um, yeah, it's been really uh, great for me just, you know, trying it out. I filmed today's video with no um, foundation on. I, I have got makeup on, but just not any foundation because I kind of wanted to make a, a record of how my skin is looking now um, because the next uh, experiment that I'm going to do is I'm going to continue using products that I've already got um, except for the night moisturiser. I am going to be doing an experiment with a Trixo hand cream because I read somewhere that this can be an amazing night moisturiser. So yeah, that video will come up in the future feed. So, you know, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell and that way you won't miss it. Um, but for now, in terms of the Aldi La Cura, I think if you're looking for a budget range of skincare, if you're looking for dupes, this is definitely a good place to um, shop at and, and look at. Um, I have been really, really impressed with the skincare that I've used overall. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.